Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at how to edit closed captions on your Apple TV. Now, if you happen to be in a noisy room and you're trying to watch a movie or television show, you can enable closed captions and you can actually change how that looks. So come into your settings, go into general, and then right down below, we're gonna go into accessibility. And here I can see closed captions in SDH, which are subtitles for the deaf and the closed captions. If I turn this on, whenever an actual stream of video has a ability for closed captions, it'll just be on by default. I don't have to go in and enable it manually. Down below, I can choose the style. So clicking here on style will allow me to choose my default large text classic, or even edit it and make it my own. Over on the left hand side, you see subtitles are currently on the default section. If I choose large text, this is how the subtitles will now look. And if I choose classic, that's how my subtitles will look now. Coming into edit styles will allow me to create a new style. We'll just click new style. We can give it a description. Notice I can just change this to whatever I would like to. I can choose my font. So we'll come into text, we'll do font. You see there's a few different font styles for me to choose from. If I click on that one, I can see how it changes over the left hand side of the screen. So now I can see how the subtitles are now going to appear. So let's say we leave it at that one. Video override, we can use the font specified in the video. We can turn this on or off. So if the video has a font subtitle already, it'll display what it is. But turning this off will display the font that we're specifying. We have some advanced options. We can select font styles. So here are some different font styles that fit in the sans serif. We have a monospace serif. Notice changing these will change the appearance over on the left hand side of the screen. I can even do a script. So these are all the different font styles that you can go ahead and choose from. Even small caps is a font style and I can choose what font I want to show up whenever that font style is going on the screen. So now if I come back out to the style editor, I can choose the size of my font. So there are small, medium, large, and extra large. And again, I have that video override. I have my font color. So I have white and a few different color options. And I also have that video override again. And then I can even choose the background color and opacity. So right now the background color is black. Let's just go ahead and change it to red. And then I'll choose my opacity. And let's just put this one to 100%. And notice now the subtitle looks pretty bold. So this is gonna stand out quite a bit when I'm ever I'm viewing a video that needs subtitles. I can even choose my text opacity as well as my styling and text highlight. So text highlight will kind of put a glow around it. So if I were to put a green, notice that there's gonna be a little glow. We'll change the opacity, we'll put that up to 75. Maybe we'll even drop it down to 25. Now there's a green glow around the text. So if I were to actually remove my background, we'll change this opacity to zero. Notice now there's a little bit of a green haze glow around the actual text. So that was my text highlight that I added. And even my edge style, here I can do depressed, raised. You see how it's changing the actual kind of shadow that's around the text. And I can see even a uniform right there. So maybe we'll give it a drop shadow. And so now this is a completely new style that I've actually created. And if I come back out, I can actually now see style one is actually a style for my subtitles. And if I wanted to, I could always come back and choose one of the pre-built in ones, such as default large text or classic. And so that's how we edit and take a look at our subtitles on the Apple TV.